Uh, Mr. Anton, over to you. Morning, everybody, and Tavon, thank you, yes, for the opportunity. Um, I noted from the panel that I'm probably a little bit like the odd one out here, um, where, where my colleagues here are more into the, the formal education space. I'm sitting right now in a township community, in a community-based organization, um, probably you could say in the informal education space. Um, we've been based in this specific community of 50,000 people without a high school. So that's a big challenge. Now we have overcrowded schools, as we know, and we have challenges in our education formal sector. Um, we, have, uh, we have intervened and, and provided uh, an after school support space for high school learners. So our focus is very much youth driven, and uh, unfortunately, our, our our mantra has to change all the time, not for a good reason, but recently our mantra has become we exist for the 75 or hashtag 75 must fall. This is referring to the 75% youth unemployment rate, which is a disaster and, uh, and is a, 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 a snowball that is going to hit us in the near future because we are raising fathers and mothers that are modeling unemployment. So um, in our own way that we challenge ourselves having run a successful after school high school program keeping young people in high school matriculating and into university education or tertiary education of some sort further we also challenged ourselves about six seven years ago and um, the frame we had at the time was if we keep skimming the cream from the from the crop we leave the rest of the crop to rot um, we're in the cape flats so we're surrounded by the gang uh, um, endemic and the challenge we face is what are we offering in terms of skills development in terms of re-education or re-entry into some some form of education training or further development for those who have already fallen out of the formal sector so the answer i believe to to moving things forward nationally is not the one or the other we all know that it's very much more nuanced than that and much more complex complex and we need collaboration from all sectors and so this is our part to play and so we run a skills development vocational skills program with uh, annually with about 120 130 young people it's a very intensive program it's a one-year program and our specific skills are very much market driven so we try to remain very agile and very responsive to the market the job market that that meaning and so we are driven by we some of the sort of skills that we do is we have a coffee barista skill school we have a artisanal baking skill school we have a beauty and manicure pedicure salon school uh, we have a construction skills school um, we have a coding skills school so these are very much market driven schools um, that have been birthed out of the need for employable young people because I believe there's two challenges we face. It's the, it's the, the looming 75% unemployment, but it's also at the same time, once again, it's not the one or the other. It's the unemployability challenge that many of the small and medium enterprises have communicated to us over the years. They struggle to find suitable candidates at these entry level jobs and these, these vocational hand skilled jobs that can be taught without a certificate, without a qualification and, and without the need for an academic career or background. And uh, we've successfully been placing young people over the last five years, our rolling year on year placement rate is about 85% into jobs or further education. Many of them go back into college, they find their passion through our construction school and go and do plumbing or electrical uh, or they go into a um, cookery school or a baking school or a further uh, hospitality catering school or they go back in. Some of them have even come through our doors doing our GED program and then going back into university. But most of them are going into the job market, into the bakeries, restaurants, hotels, um, into the small businesses, small uh, and medium enterprises. And, um, and we journey with them for a year intensively, not just with the vocational skills, but the foundational, basic, fundamental life skills around social skills, emotional intelligence, 
and also dealing very much in the psychosocial intervention space with the amount of trauma that we live with in a nation and our communities right here are traumatized and it's 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 uh, it's, it's trauma that has been built up over years and over years and so there's layers of trauma to work through so we have a very uh, dedicated team of psychosocial intervention um, sure. social workers that work with our beneficiaries and families so we're very much focused on this one community uh, of 50,000 of which there is approximately 18,000 young people and many of them are in gangs so we're making a difference in a small way but we're changing generation of cycles in a big way Absolutely, absolutely. And thank you for the work that you do. We look forward to engaging further.